What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. We've got Motive spawning here in the top left hand corner and his opponent today is going to be Hyun. This is a game that was played very recently after Motive's appearance. Uh, his first appearance in the SSL group stages. And Hyun here, although he's not in the SSL or the ASL, he is just crushing it right now on the ladder. We've seen him play a few games recently on the channel. And yeah, he's been playing so well. I really wanted to see some more from him and who better to test this guy in the ZVP matchup than Motive. So I'm excited for this one, guys. It's looking like a Nexus first coming from Motive. And this is Pantheon, new map on the ladder and also a new addition to the SSL uh, lineup map uh, lineup map pool that's the word I was looking for Nexus first against this was I guess a 12 or 11 hatchery yeah it looks like 11 hatch mm -hmm. 11 hatch 10 pool builds another drone here we'll go for another drone and another one I'm gonna go up to 12, 13, supply. I'm not saving any larva for the moment. So he's gonna send out that next drone. His first drone is gonna get over here to the natural now with the cannon warping in at the front. It's gonna see that when that spawning pool finishes, he won't really be able to do anything. So I expect we'll see no links made this time. And it's a good thing that he's been just pumping pure drone so far it's gonna get this third and he starts the gas here at about two minutes 50 so or a little bit earlier actually maybe two minutes 45 something like that pretty standard gas timing especially against a forge fast expand you're just gonna have that gas and you're gonna have that cybernet score corsair out very very quickly so yeah nothing but drones being produced here Cross map on Pantheon. Let's go ahead and take a look at this map. So I haven't really played much on it, but I've seen quite a few games so far. We've got quite a few high ground and low ground bases with small ramps. You can see the low ground bases have smaller ramps. And the high ground bases have larger ramps, making it a little bit easier to get in to these different uh, high ground bases, but still high ground is high ground in this matchup. It's always hard to get up there. We've also got similar to Citadel, this little ramp that's not really a ramp or not really a high ground. It's just a ramp leading right up into another ramp and like a little sliver of high ground at the top of that. So now that we've taken a look at the map, we can see it's very large and in cross map positions, we could be in for a very long game. We have yet yet to see any long PVZ on this map. So I would be interested to witness that. Get a first hand look at what that's gonna be like before we end up getting one in the SSL. Be cool to see these two pros going at it and taking this into the late game. We have a ways to go though. First Zealot is heading up to the top right hand corner. Looks like he's trying to hide this. Just wants to hide this out on the map. You can see that Hyun is splitting his lings all over the place. He really wants to find that hidden Zealot, but he may end up missing it. It's got a well-placed Overlord here. Could be a little bit close to this wall, but I don't think that Zealot will be able to slip by. And I think the moment that Hyun sees lings at the front, that's when he'll send this in. He sees the lings. Is he going to send it in? There it goes immediately responding to that. Going to send the zealot over here to that center right. Ooh, a run by. Run by here into the main. Three lings get in. But this might actually be a distraction for Hyun, who will be busy microing these lings and may not pay attention to this zealot wandering in. Let's see how many kills can actually get or how many drones can actually get killed off here. That's a pretty good surround with three drones and a ling, two lings actually. He might actually lose nothing, wow. He loses nothing, 
I think mostly due to the fact that Hyun is running around inside his main and he's busy focusing on these lings. Trying not to lose any probes. I mean, we'll lose a couple here. Already one, two go down. A third will fall, but that seems like the end of the damage that's going to occur. Any kills on these Corsairs? No, no kills. And so I think that Hyun has taken a pretty significant lead in this game. That was really well played by him. Finding that run by against motive. You hate to see it from the Protoss player. Good idea there from motive to send in the Zealot. Hide it up in that top right hand corner and try to send it in at an opportune time. But it's just as bad luck that Hyun managed to pay attention. He managed to get the drones surrounding on that Zealot and Motive's multitasking just wasn't quite there. He wasn't able to like target down drones or move behind a mineral patch or whatever. And two lings were produced just sitting there at the third. That actually shouldn't have been the case. He shouldn't have had those lings there. They all should have been together uh, with the army or spread out on the map like looking for something coming. But they just happened to rally to here and he managed to make a nice defense out of it. Now we're at the point in the game where Zealot run buys could be a thing we've got one sunken colony over here drone's gonna come out and block very nice block there so far from again it's a pretty nice surround on that but very good uh drone drilling here is going to cause a lot of problems for these zealots and they're just gonna get completely cooked nothing they can do it with these they're gonna die for sure he even traps this one from running out and so all these zealots are going to fall. And now some mutas are popping out. We've got plus one attack, plus one armor or carapace on this air as well. I think this is going to pretty well frighten motive with the number of mutas that are popping out. And he also saw the third gas already. But it's probably just going to be a transition back into drones, seizing away air control, pushing back the zealots. We can see... Hyun really start to drone up and then switch into Hydralisk. Yes, the Hydra upgrades are on the way. We've got lots of drones popping out here. He'll go to about 45. He only needs like six more drones. Gets Burrow. That's very interesting. Prioritizing Burrow this early seems a little bit strange. I, I thought that maybe he would go for Overlord Speed instead. Overlord Speed seems like a better investment of that early gas, but he opts to go for the Burrow first. Now, will we see something like a bunch of Hydras parked out in the front or Lings parked out in the front, burrowed underground? And then as the Templar and Zealot army moves out, an unburrow to try and snipe some of these high-tech units. That could be really cool. That could be a very good move. You can see it. taking the base down here at the 6 o'clock now, or I guess the 5 o'clock is Hyun. They're up to 47 drones, in fact, and... He does have three on gas. We saw that previously, he, him uh, forgetting to mine that gas. It didn't end up affecting the outcome of the game previously, but if that happens once, it can happen again. We have to be careful that we're mining with three drones on each gas geyser, especially in ZVT, but also in this matchup. Very important. We don't want to miss out on a bunch of lurkers or not be able to hit our tech timing because we're just missing out on gas now this base is not a gas base it is a mineral only so it's a high ground but it's a mineral only with a large ramp it's not the greatest base in the world but it's very close to the zerg natural and basically taking this will lead you into taking this so i'm pretty sure nearly a hundred percent that we're gonna see hyun try to take this next rather than stretching up and trying to take top right i think he's far more likely to go ahead and grab this base just because of the proximity of everything down here basically you're going to be able to hold this area with lurkers and you'll be controlling this area this area and this area with lurkers you'll be able to hold off everything we haven't seen burrow utilized yet oh there it is starting some lings burrowing them underground at these two outlying bases he's gonna know the moment that motive wants to take that third and there's really only one option here for motive to take it's this base mineral only is okay but we really do need that gas in this matchup lurker upgrade on the way guys there's a bit of downtime here right now so i'll just tell you about what's going on 
currently oh wow more mutas popping up currently uh the typhoon is like directly over top of my house it's like a, the center of it is like a mile away from my house but looking outside you really couldn't tell there's no wind and no rain either which is crazy because in southern japan there was like three months worth of rain that fell in a single day so massive flooding uh, I think 4 million people were evacuated. Just absolute wildness. And this is a pretty crazy move. Wait a second. Are we just going to dive in here? I don't know if he's going to commit to this. Flying in. Looking for some Templar. But it looks like he'll just fly out. Yeah. Pretty wild. I was expecting that maybe I would run out of power. I wouldn't have power for a few days or something like that. But luckily for me... It seems like the Typhoon has kind of run its course. It's uh, run out of juice and cannot really continue with much force uh, any longer. It's just kind of burned out, I suppose. And Motive is going to burn out here pretty soon. If he doesn't get that third base online, he'll probably try to take a fourth uh, soon after because this third is kind of late. It's taken him quite a while to try to get this up. He's going to transfer all his probes over here. His main is starting to run low. He's had a big saturation there for a little bit too long. Same with the natural. So his money is really running low here. He actually needs to move and take this base, but he's going across the map, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Hive is on the way. There are quite a few lurkers out here in the front. Mutas are going to come from behind. He's going to try and pick off these Templar. Looks like he will get the Templar. The Scourge do not connect well, though. That was kind of a sloppy engagement there with the Scourge. He's going to be able to dive on top of these Corsairs. He kills a couple of them. But they are going to try and chase down these Mutas. Just trying to hide out somewhere out on the map. Oh, oh, I thought it was a probe for a second, but it's actually a Zealot. Now moving into position. He actually can't take this fight now. We've only got one Templar. It really is in Moda's best interest to head back home now. And he will. Going up to this fourth... The Nexus is going to place, be placed just slightly off center. Not the biggest deal in the world that Zergling spotting that, but not able to actually block him from getting a decent placement there. Not the best placement in the world, but it's decent. One Templar are going to go down here in the back line. There's only two remaining. Lings are going to try and come up here, maybe deny this base. I think they will actually be able to do that. Upgrades are on the way here for these Lings. Actually, triple upgrade coming here for Hyun right now. And he manages to force the cancel. Plus two, plus one, or plus one attack, plus two armor is done for Motive. And Motive has just one forge rolling, it seems. He actually has two forges, but only one of them is upgrading. He's going to get plus two attack here pretty soon. Some Hydra's out in the front, but they're unable to stop the overloads from going down for now. Some of these overlords will inevitably fall, but now the Muta's fighting along with the Hydras. Looks like he'll actually kill all of these. Okay, maybe like one or two will get away. That was a reasonable trade there, I feel, for Yun. Throwing down an egg on the ramp. Zealots are trying to get up here, but Lurker's doing a good job of denying them. Can he actually snipe a observer here? No, he's going to go and wrap around the army right now. Let's see if he can get a good surround. To actually pick off all of this, it really does look like he will be able to loop all the way around this army and get into position to cut it off. Yeah, that is perfect. Beautifully done here. Absolutely fantastic play from Hyun to cut off this entire army. And now he can run everything down, kill all of the Templar if he uh, controls this properly. These links on the side need to get involved. But they're going to go ahead and block out some of the Zealots. More Lurkers coming up. Or the Lurkers that were originally surrounding that army are going to come up to the front. He's not putting them too closely on top of each other. So the Storms help out a lot. But they're not actually going to clear everything. And all the Templar are gone. Making two Archons. If you could just get up here with a few more units and kill these Archons. It'll be an absolutely perfect trade. But it seems like one of them's going to survive. The Lurkers will have to retreat. Another base coming up here for motive right now he hasn't even saturated this base yet where are all those probes he really needs to get some units over there but meanwhile yeah i'm gonna attack over here to the center left four zealots holding the line right now but the lings have cracked 
and plus one is done one one actually is done and they are breaking through the line needs to control the probes get the lings off that cannon seems like he's kind of messed it up here two lurkers gonna be made behind the mineral line he's gonna force this army up towards 12 o'clock i think that Yan just figured out that there's a base there actually and he will come up here and kill this We've got one Lurker Egg morphing in right now. He's going to get rid of that. I think he'll have to give up this base, maybe. All right. He's actually going to run up this ramp. I'm really surprised Hyun hasn't chosen to expand any further. If he continues to not expand here, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. He's only on four bases right now, and he is starting to run out of minerals. You can see these are running out pretty darn quick. A lot of Lurkers coming over here to the left-hand side. Great storms there. All right, Hyun's starting to make some serious mistakes. He's got 3,000 minerals in the bank. Uh-oh. Something's going wrong right now. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but Hyun is really having a struggle getting his macro rolling, and you know, he's only on three gas geysers, so his gas is really what's uh, making it hard for him right now. He needs some more hatcheries, maybe, if he's going to be this ling-dependent. He did stop the extra base of motive but that's only keeping motive on the same number of bases as him it's not getting ahead two drones gonna come up to the top right hand corner but these hydras probably not gonna be able to stop the full weight of this protoss army that's making its way over to the top right right now i think he'll probably go for a counter attack as some zealots go to clear this up in the top right nice egg wall there father's mound is done consume just about there two Templar are gonna make their way to the center left this is actually the big the big story here right now is that these two Templar made it over here to these five cannons because with just five cannons you're actually you may not actually be able to hold if we were seeing a counter attack from Hyun right as those Templar were coming in he might have been able to pick them off and then overwhelm this base but now he can't really make that happen Motive is going to take this long. He's going to get to five bases. Hyun is just going to have to hold. He's going to have to be okay with that. He's got a bunch of Hydras over here on high ground. He's got lots of Lings over at his natural. With the Defilers coming online. I don't see Plague. There it is. It just starts now. We have some Nidus coming up. He's going to try and break this high ground. Let's see if he can get up here. Another storm. The Lurker dies. And I think he will, in fact, get up here. We don't have a drone in the bottom left just yet, even though he has a bunch of Hydras over there. So that's a bit unfortunate. He is, however, taking the base in the top right and going for a counterattack at the moment. Where are the Defilers? They're not actually being sent with the army. If he had Defilers here, it's an easy kill on this base, especially with the Templar not quite managing to make it over there just yet. All right, it looks like they're going to come up now. We should see some great storms here to start to shut this down. DT in the mix as well is a nice addition cutting off this army and it looks like he will be able to hold 12 o'clock is going to stand and we will continue on now making his way into the natural this is a bit scary Yun doesn't have everything burrowed and he's gonna eat some massive storms on all these lings that are popping out right now plague is just now done lings under dark storm are pretty good but it's a great target for just mass storm you see the orange cloud and you just Press T and click the middle of the orange cloud. It does so much damage. And most of the Berserk units are going to be under there. So getting a great value trade. Motive going to back up slowly. Oh, ooh, an awesome plague there. Really making up for a lot of those losses. Lurkers down here in the bottom left. Lurkers in the top right. Now, this is putting a clock on motive he actually needs to get into one of these bases and prevent this from happening if Hyun manages to hold both starting look or both other starting locations if he holds bottom left and top right then motive is going to end up getting forced out of this game no two ways about it he has to get in here and deny this can't allow the uh, zerg player to have so many starting locations now storms are going to come through we don't have a Nidus yet, but it's only a matter of time. He has to break the push now, or he has to get in the, with the push now. He's kind of stuck in a bit of a rough place. If he gets flanked right now, he could end up losing his entire army. And it's actually looking like 
Hyun will make it there in time. You can't just run through the lurkers here. And getting stuck on the outside between Lings and lurkers is pretty rough. He's got some Archons out in the front. 15 kill Archon, another 15 kill Archon somehow. 16 kills now, and Hyun will move out, clear this base, or clear this army. Very nicely done. Meanwhile, a drop heading around the top side of the map. DT, uh, not DT, excuse me. Defiler makes his way down here. And so we will have Defiler. Oh my God, this is going to be perfect. Ooh, brutal, brutal plague there. But some storms are going to come down on this fresh base. Might be able to snipe the Nidus as well. Oh, the storm. Pretty good. Does a lot of damage. Nidus goes down though. Snipe the shuttle. He does get it. Very big kill there from Yun. Kind of a precarious situation here for him. Yeah, he's getting a little greedy right now, I'll be honest. That is pretty greedy to try and take this base. He's taking bottom left and top right and trying to hold this natural. He might end up throwing this game if Motive takes some good engagements here. Another plague went down. A lot of these zealots have been plagued already. So many of them are so low. Dark Swarm comes and these two lurkers under Dark Swarm are going to rip a lot of this apart. However, Motive breaks through. Army coming from behind. You can see so much here in the uh, Nidus area in the, the rally point. It's going to be coming in to try and clear this army. And I think Motive is going to lose this army once again. And I do not believe he's going to break through. Some emergency sunken colonies are coming down, but they're hardly necessary. Another base coming up for Motive over here. But he's being denied a lot of the gas spaces on the map. And uh, if he can't break down into this bottom left, I, I'm afraid of what's going to happen to him. I just, I don't think he can break top right. Like if he, he switches gears and heads all the way to top right. I don't think that's going to go much better for him. Another great plague just sitting a defiler in the middle of the map. I love it. As the army is moving through, you just drop that plague as soon as you see him. It feels like Hyun has bounced back in a really big way in this game. He was struggling with 3,000 mineral banks and motive taking more bases than him in the mid game. But now here in the late stages of ZVP, Hyun is proving his worth. These extra sunkins and potentially spores coming up on the front line are going to be such a pain for our Protoss player to deal with. These two Templar are huge targets for these few Hydras, but it looks like he's not going to find them. Instead, targeting down one single Archon and losing the entirety of his army. This is a little bit scary. I don't like to see that. That is a storm waiting to happen. That's a perfect storm right there. Great 90s movie. Was that 90s or was that 80s? Perfect storm. Let me know in the comments down below. A little bit of trivia for you. The perfect storm right there. Four lurkers. It would be absolutely brutal. Now trying to break into the center. Wait, wait a minute. What happened to all the drones here? Are those a bunch of drones or were those transferred somewhere else? I actually didn't see a drop go off. I'll try to picture and picture it if something happened at 24 minutes. All right. Diving in here, trying to take a fight over at this base. That's triple hatchery. If that all goes down, that's kind of bad. It's not the worst thing in the world here for Hyun. And honestly, if he clears the entirety of this army, it's probably going to be an overall win for him. But losing all the production would be bad. Okay, he does force everything back. He does not lose the production. He has control over that area once more. Can get back to mining that if he so chooses. Ooh like a drop tried to come in but scourge are gonna force that back and this uh reaver plus templar drop is not really gonna get much looks like he's got that on a shift click i wonder if it'll make it through these scourge let's just see how dumb scourge are it's time for your favorite games folks how dumb are the scourge pretty darn dumb is the answer so like he's gonna hop these drones maybe through the nidus some of them are gonna get through anyway Another storm there on the tail end does quite a bit of damage down to just 48 drones, but I would say it's probably still fine here. Hyun is hanging on to this bottom left hand corner like there's no tomorrow. And we should have a spore. Yeah, that spore is a little late, but he's got four scourge. And how many observers are there? Just three. 
you can run forward and just snipe a couple of those and that spore colony will deal so much damage to the observers if they try to come in he's gonna target that immediately with a couple of reavers trying to take this base right in the face of hyun the disrespect here shown by this protoss player well he actually has to do that there's really no choice goes ahead and snipes one of the observers gonna continue to try and do so he could go after the uh, shuttle as well okay does a little damage there gonna run out with some lings just force a couple of scarabs out it's kind of how you want to do it. you want to bait with the oh my god i'm glad i caught that, that was a huge plague get a plague on top of that would be the absolute best would really like to see him get that he doesn't have energy as well by the way no energy on this uh, on defilers is a little bit unfortunate we've got scarab damage coming up we're getting uh, plasma shields now too motive gearing up for the very late game but he's not got the greatest position here drones are heading out i don't know what they're doing that looks like a mistaken shift click or something like that but he'll get those back to work in a moment more cannons going up over here and motive finds himself in the the undesirable position of you know being in this spot where he actually has Z zerg behind him and zerg can come in from the front so he's kind of surrounded right now he's gonna drop some reavers here on the low ground we really need a plague for this but we actually don't have a defiler in position which is very unfortunate right now for our zerg player he's gonna try and dive on this one more time can he actually get one of these reavers looks like one of them went down but the other three are alive and well and they're going to be pushing forward into these lurkers the moment the lurkers are gone then the zealots can be unleashed the zealots can come through and clear everything else up we're going to run right in here great storm there three three is done but is it going to be enough to actually hold this position i feel like yan is going to lose the spot he's so close to actually holding this off i'm going to pop a huge amount more uh oh oh is he actually going to get this Oh, that's a lot of damage on the Nidus, but he hasn't killed the Nidus yet. The Nidus still surviving. Lurkers popping out. This is a very intense little skirmish here between these two. But meanwhile, a counter attack making its way over here. This Nidus is still alive. It's crazy. He's still holding on to that. I'm going to start to pick off more and more of this stuff. He might get the shuttle. Oh, it's so close. The shuttle does not go down, but this base will. Motive losing all of these positions at the same time. We haven't seen Hyun take this base over here just yet, but so much is going on down here. I don't blame him whatsoever. He's barely able to hang on. This lurker's going to go down. I think he just now is going to lose control of this base. That is rough. Hyun, after all of that, he ends up losing this position. We'll transfer drones over here. He did manage to pick off this spot, though. So I guess we're going to go to the split map, guys. This is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably try and take this base. If he doesn't take that, it's gonna be a little bit rough. Wow. Gets one last uh, plague on these two Reavers. That's amazing. And that plague in there. Very, very good for Hyun. Yeah, he's completely done with upgrades. And this spot is almost unbreakable. This is a very tight choke. This is one of the tighter chokes on any map for the natural. So, uh, gonna be very hard to get in there. Has a small force roaming around, but a drop is coming in once again. This could actually end the game um, because we are not doing well now as Hyun. He threw everything into defending that base. He really wanted to keep that one alive. It was kind of his path. That was his win condition. If he could just keep that base alive, he probably would have straight up won. But now he's kind of got to transition a little bit into more of a should you how can you say like economical not economic like efficiency based play oh my god scourge come on how did that not connect finally gonna get that one dt making its way in here gonna kill a bunch of drones we're at 44 drones still so it's not the end of the world losing a couple it really doesn't want to be remaking drones right now that's not where you want to be sending your money in Getting some good value with these lurkers, but the storms will come through, clearing a lot of those up. And we're stuck under 100 supply. 
as Hyun. Hyun has not had over 100 supply for the past few minutes, actually. Been struggling to get that supply back up. Get some more income rolling at these other bases. And I think that Motive is chugging away just fine here. 195 supply. He's basically maxed. He can focus everything into just defending this location. Ooh, great plagues here. Oh my god, those are so good. That's like every zealot. I think there's like maybe two zealots in there that haven't been plagued. That is wild. This is so many cannons and four reavers. Motive is potentially just going to win this one. What does he have in the natural? Not that much. Maybe we could see Hyun get over there and sh like get into the main base and kill the main base. That's one way that you can bring things back. Another way is you can take this base and start making queens. I wouldn't be opposed to seeing that either. We've got four reavers flying around, two left back at home. Maybe he snipes these two shuttles. There's a way, there, there is always a way to bring yourself back from a position like this. It's just, it's not easy. It is very, very difficult. Can you get a big flag here? Big flag, big flag. There we go. That was the money shot that Hyun was waiting for. He did huge damage to everything here. And all of these zealots are really, really low. So they are just gonna get munched by these zealots, or these zerglings, excuse me. Zealots getting munched by the zerglings. And wow, I mean, Motive is still gonna push through. Not enough lurkers in that composition. So he will get pushed back for now. The Nidus here could be taken out. And, I mean, we're at 85 supply. There's really not much left for Hyun. Did he actually lose this game? It really, it's starting to feel like it. I, I was thinking that maybe he would be able to take over Motive's main, but actually Motive going to be able to destroy Hyun's main. That is rough. Cannot explain the importance of holding this base right here. Had Hyun kept this alive, he would have most likely been able to take this game ballsy maneuver though for motive you gotta respect it though taking the base right outside of the natural or right outside the main you're just just there there's the zerg base and there's your base you can see a lot of times it's really hard for the zerg to break through and you know deny these bases but if you can attack from this side and this side you know sending lings through this way and plaguing these things and then coming in through this side and attacking this base, usually you can break this. So big props to Motive for holding onto this position and actually getting in there and breaking Hyun out of this spot. Really, really well done by him. Looks like we had a little bit of a drop at the end there. Kind of missed out on that, but Motive goes ahead and takes away game number one. We've still got another one here for you guys. So let's jump in to game number two. There's been a series of new updates to Neon Marble Rust since the last sponsored video. And now all three races have been released. There is so much variety and complexity to this game, and I can't wait to dive into it on stream. Each race is completely unique. Different units, different resources, different play styles. Come check it out on my channel, and for those of you who are unaware, this is a brand new RTS game from a single developer who is a big fan of Brood War. It's an insane challenge to create an RTS with three races as a solo developer. So hats off to NMR. That's it. Try the game. Link in the description. Free to play. Now back to the video. Okay, game number two. Played also on August 31st of 2024. Motive in the top right hand corner. Hyun in the bottom left. Gonna open nine pool this game. We are now on kickback. That map with the neutral sunken colony that's on the ladder right now. And he even does a extractor trick. An extractor trick to uh, get one more drone. And he'll likely scout with this so he knows where to send his lings right off the bat. A pretty common build here. Does give you a lot of pressure. Which to punish your opponent if they're going for something like a gateway first. You're just going to have... An overwhelming number of lings if you decide to really commit to that. And if it's uh, just a single cannon, you might be able to run by. If it's a double cannon, then you're probably going to be okay economically, as long as you don't lose all the lings uh, to the double cannon. And so he's going to produce six lings and look to secure his third, or excuse me, his natural. 
probe making its way over here. And one heading this direction as well. You really do need to know if it's a nine pool or not. And he sees the timing. Knows exactly what this is now. He will send the zealot back home. Should come out and actually put a building in this. Could do a forge. Maybe a an um a cybernetic score, potentially. Pylon. Interesting. So just gonna have two holes in this. I think it's a pretty reasonable way to hold this. Uh, third zealot is on the way, and we probably will see Hyun attack the the wall here. Probably attack. Oh, hey, the drone actually came through. Whoa. Okay, he manages to slip by. Not sure what motive was thinking there, or was that actually the drone? I didn't see the drone uh, hits. He didn't hit stop on the drone. I don't think, and actually try to open up that spot. At least I'm, I don't think he did. But it seemed like the Zelts did bug out slightly. So maybe there was a little bit of that play from Hyun. And I mean, that would be incredibly impressive. Right as the Lings are coming up to the wall, the scouting drone comes back. And just as it's hitting that wall, coming back to that wall, it... Stops on top of the zealots, bugs them out, and then the links get in. That is some professional level StarCraft, if I've ever seen some. We do have that extractor now, but it was three base, of course, before extractor. Nothing super fancy here from our Zerg player. He wants to get those bases online, and he's making enough links to definitely deny the triple or the double zealot coming his way. And so. Not really much of a fight here. Should be an absolute slaughter. Motive gonna lose both of those zealots. He'll just try to micro it the best that he can to get as much value as possible. As many of these ling kills as he humanly can. A forge coming up here. In the main, we'll, we will see a cannon at the front. I imagine momentarily. But this has already slowed down Motive quite a bit. His lings have done a great job. They're still alive. One more kid, maybe get a kill. Not quite. He's actually not going to surround and kill these zealots either. Well, he might get one. That's not exactly what he's looking for. He definitely wanted more damage than that. I'm going to go ahead and kill one more zealot. These two are... Oh, those two were a bit low. The rest are quite healthy. Does need to get in that wall though. Block the wall for God's sake, motive. You don't want to have Ling Speed suddenly finish. Then he just runs in and kills your cannon. Cybercore finally coming down. It's quite a late Cybercore, considering. We're already at 5 minutes 20. And in a best case scenario game, the Protoss player can have a Corsair out about 5 minute 30 with a forge opener and about six minutes with a gateway opener. So this is going to come out significantly later than that. Um, Overlord going down would not be good. Got to send that on a, a straight line trajectory. If you ever wonder about uh, overlords, like why not if you come into the overlord head in this direction, it's further away from the cannon, although it looks further. The cannon may actually deal more damage um, because of the hex grid, like the way that the uh, range works on the cannon. You could actually end up losing that overlord where if you send it directly in a straight line away from the cannon, like even if you're say right here and the cannon's hitting you, you don't want to fly this way. You want to fly this way or this way and you'll get away from the cannon's range faster. It's a little bit of a funny, quirky part of Brood War, but that was very much intentional. The moment that he saw it, he sent it directly up rather than away. And it's kind of instinctual for most people to send it, uh, send something away from the cannon. They try to do it uh, the more direct route and you will often lose your overlord because of that. Just thought I'd mention it. Six minute 55, finally the Corsair's out on the map and Scourge are just about to hit the field. Looks like he might get this overlord, but just barely. Some scourge are like popping out right now. 
heading out to the front. I think he loses just the one overlord and he should be okay after that. No sunken colonies here at the front, just a buttload of lings to try and hold off these zealots. They don't have plus one as far as I know. And there's gonna be a pretty good surround. A little bit of a mistiming there from Hyun, like not hitting with the lings from the front and the back at the same time. But he's gonna clear everything up here pretty efficiently. And with just a handful of lings left over, 12 lings left over, he is going to be doing him doing very well here. Oh, a zealot slips by. All right, but catches on to that. Going to snag that last zealot, runs behind the mineral patches, but there's a lot of space back here to surround, so it's not much of a factor. Just kind of annoying his APM right now, honestly. Yun would like to be drop, you know, dropping new tech buildings and busting out drones and getting them to work on the right patches and all that kind of stuff but he's a little bit busy dealing with those so just a little frustrating stuff for Hyun but he's gonna be going into five meters once again in fact six seven now are on the way they didn't do much last game really they really did not deal much damage whatsoever it uh left something to, to be desired Hyun's uh, mutilus play in that last game. So let's see if he can do a better job this time. He can get some more damage going with these three zealots making their way over towards the natural. But with all the mutus coming out, he's definitely going to be able to deny that. Ling's trying to run by. Oh, they jump on top of the cannons. Wait a second. He's going to kill both of these cannons. And the zealot's just going to die for free. Um, can he actually jump on top of these Templar? No, he cannot. And there's a cannon in the mineral line here. So looks like he won't really get any damage off of that. But at least he got some cannon kills. And those are very expensive. 300 minerals down the drain there for motive. Cost Hyun some lings. But honestly, lings are very expendable right now. They don't have much of a purpose at this point. Kind of interesting to see Hyun not build a wall at the front. I guess it's a little harder. You have to mine out these minerals first to put a hatchery up there. So maybe that's why he's not doing it. But you can put a hatchery and a couple of other buildings below it. And it's a very hard wall to, to run through. And so I wonder if we'll see that in the future. I wonder if we'll see Zerg players go for things like that. Big group of mutas flying in. Nice storm though on top of quite a few of them. Scourge are pushing back the Corsairs for now. Another couple of Scourge land. The Mutas are getting a little low here. Ooh, great storm, but it's on top of the, the uh, Corsairs, so... Both the Corsairs die. Oh, all the Corsairs die. All the Corsairs die, and the Mutas are going to go to work. Dude, these Mutas are so low right now. Look at how little HP they have. One more Corsair pops up. They might all just explode, but he manages to push away... The workers from the Nexus. And I mean, there's another Nexus coming up over here, but denying mining is great. Still no wall here. The Zelts are going to come across the map. They'll be a little bit di difficult to deal with, but I think this is definitely worth it. As long as he doesn't take too much damage. He's got the Mutas at home, so he really won't. We had that plus one armor for the Mutas, which made this... A fight a little bit easier to take it doesn't help against the storms but it definitely helps against the corsairs and we do have plus one on these corsairs as well more templar coming out this base is dead though and there's only one cannon at the front a quick transition into hydra we could see the front go down as uh, motive is trying to get his second base online he's been on one base for so long this base is going to dry up incredibly fast. Like, we're already at 300 minerals on some of these patches. So, he really doesn't have much time now. He has to get this online immediately. And then actually get this back online again soon after. Otherwise, he's going to be in so much trouble. He'll probably end up losing this game. Ooh, another storm there. Killing a lot of his own workers. I didn't see how many went down, but... Yeah, probably not that many. I just heard the noise of the probe going down. And it seems like he was able to kind of dodge that by sending the workers to a patch up here, but definitely lost a few. 
Hyun still building the Scourge, still sending mutas across the map. He's looking for another snipe. Another great snipe here. The Corsairs, I mean, not in high enough number to fight this, but look at how low these mutas are. They are super duper low. All he needs is a couple of more Corsairs to actually beat this. He just can't afford it right now. Building cannons over here. He's got Templar as well. He doesn't have an Archon. He's got one Corsair. These Amidas probably going to fly back in with the Scourge. Try to take another fight. Zealot's heading out on the map right now. Ooh, great storm there. Another pretty good storm. Making an Archon now. Dude, the Mutas are so low. We just need a couple of Scourge, but we're not going to get it. Cannons are going to warp in, but they'll die before they get any shots off. Wait, he might get a couple of shots, and that actually might start to kill Mutas. He actually kills these Mutas and pushes everything back. One Zealot going to head to 6 o'clock. Sees all of the Hydras waiting there, and the base is coming up. Is Mita still getting value? Hyun firmly in control of this game right now. Motive gonna have to find a way to scrape himself up off the floor. Try to bring something back. Dive in once again to this third base. Another storm, but another Templar snipe. There are some more healthy Mutas in here, but not many. Most of them are very, very low. Plenty of high just popping out right now, though. He is going to hit the map with an enormous number of Hydras very, very soon. Look at how many hatcheries we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hatcheries are done already. Plenty of larva rolling here for Hyun. He's got the upgrades coming as well. He's just focusing on those Hydralisk attack upgrades though no carapace which leads me to believe he's just gonna stick on lair just gonna stay on lair here for quite some time continue to punish with the with the uh mutas and try to surround and like cut off this area i think we might see that happen 12 more drones on the way as he saturates the space in the bottom center but it's almost not necessary because this is gonna run out so quick that you could probably just transfer drones over there and be fine. He starts another base in the center left. Okay. So if that base comes up, then he'll have somewhere to transfer. At 65 drones though. Holy. He's got such a big macro lead. Going to be really difficult for Motive to find any chance of a comeback here. His bases are kind of light on minerals. See 1,200 on each of these. Just 3,000 gas here. Similar to these bases, which we see right here, 3,000 and 1,200, very low on minerals and gas, which the value of them is, is not nearly as large, but they're certainly necessary if you want to keep going in the game. Just taking this one of these bases is going to last you for so much longer, like taking this one, for example, or this one by just cannoning up this area or sunkening up that area is going to give you so much more longevity because you can also grab these other bases. So we'll see who ends up taking one of these first. I imagine Motive might be thinking about taking this base right now, but I would much rather see him take the risk, try to get a base up like that. He's sending a drone down here, or not a drone, a uh, zealot down here to the bottom right just to make sure that Hyun isn't getting any ideas like I just had of taking another main base out on the map and he sees that he's not and will eventually scout this I think and with more drones heading over there plenty of hydras popping out he's actually 10 17 supply ahead actually Hyun 17 supply over motive right now that is impressive this guy has really found his stride in this game his late game macro is fearsome not as fearsome as some of our great zerg players like a hero an action a soul key but he is certainly scary when he gets all of his hatches online just maybe not as good at dealing with the reavers as you know a soul key uh hero what have you Running forward, looking for some snipes, but he actually doesn't pull a trigger on that. It's a little bit surprising. 
small skirmish over here on the left hand side and Hyun is moving army around this we'll see if he comes in for the flank or if he wants to go for the counter it seems like he wants to go for the counter now there's only one cannon here so the cannon counter is doable we come in and snipe these two templar that is a great snipe the base is still alive over here surprisingly and he's going into the main now one archon being made helping out to slow things down you just need to buy time as the army comes back a lot of gateways are going down he's gonna snipe the uh pylons i think goes up on the high ground here i'm not sure how valuable this space is it really doesn't have much minerals left over at it so maybe sniping that not the most efficient thing in the world I'm a little bit surprised to see Hyun not try to save this. Only four dragoons end up killing that location. Probably not going to get the hatchery here. I would have much rather seen him just kill these two pylons. Stop the the build power here of motive for a little bit longer. Coming in now with a huge wave of hydras. He's hitting over towards the natural at the same time. Going in with the Templar. Trying to get these Templar before they can cast their storms. Oh, running right through into that storm. Oh my god, the storm's dealing so much damage. But the dragoons are falling. Hydras are breaking through the cannons here at the north side. It feels like everything is just falling apart for Motive. Who's at 85 supply. GG is called. And he taps out. Guys, thank you so much for watching this game. I hope you enjoyed it. That was a bit of an anticlimactic finisher. After the previous game, I was hoping for another big, long macro game here on Kickback, but you get what you get. It's a little bit of a new map, of course. It's hard to map things out in the late game on such a different, unique map. So like I said, you get what you get and you don't get upset. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.